Hello Internet, this is Whispering Whim, bringing you a grocery haul today, which I feel like the universe tried really hard <laughs> uh, to prevent me from uh, recording this. Uh, we actually ran out of groceries last week, um, but last week there was a big party at work, so I worked a couple of 11 hour days, right? And then this weekend, I had an art show, uh, which required all my attention, right? Um, and it went really well, and I'll talk more about that maybe a little later in the video. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so yesterday, finally, can get some grocery shopping, the cu cupboards are bare. Um, well, mostly the refrigerator is bare. <laughs> But uh, yesterday they decided to trim all the trees uh, at my apartment. So I held back. I didn't go grocery shopping, right? Uh, and then today I got up super early because I know that the uh, maintenance guys don't usually start work until like 8 or 9. I did my grocery shopping. I came all the way back home before 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, to try to get you this video, right? Uh, and my neighbor had decided to start their laundry. But wait, there's more. <laughs> um, they finally kind of quieted down. They're doing the dryer, which is a lot more quiet than their washer is, uh, which I think I can edit most of that out. Uh, but just, just as I was setting up, right, they, uh, Maintenance guys decided to start blowing some leaves or whatever outside. I wait again. Neighbor's still doing washing and I'm trying to get in between the washing loads, right? Finally, it looks like everything is quiet and clear so that I can, uh, you know, start recording. So I go and I turn on my computer and I had an automatic update. <laughs> So it was quite the challenge, let me tell you, uh, to do this grocery shopping. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've been uh, holding on to some protein snack bars. And on the top of my bag here, I've got some jalapeno potato chips. And underneath that, is a big old bag of individual size uh, popcorn. A nice uh, healthy-ish snack for me and the guy, whereas the rest of this is just for the guy, right? <laughs> Next up, we have some sourdough bread. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, type of bread. And as you know, I've been trying to do kind of a a low carb thing, right? Uh, but tomorrow is Valentine's Day and steak sandwiches is kind of a favorite thing, you know, like a treat dinner, a special dinner, if you will. And I was gonna get just like one little sad uh, hoagie roll because Winco sells those individually, right? Uh, but when I was about to go to the bin. There were a bunch of people there. Surprising how many people go grocery shopping <laughs> at seven o'clock in the morning, right? Uh, and I said, you know what? It's Valentine's Day, or will be Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna get the sourdough, and I'm gonna even enjoy a piece or two, and then hopefully I'll be good after that. <laughs> and let's see here. Next up is some strawberries. This is another Valentine's Day purchase. Uh, as you may recall, I do uh, like fancy chocolates and stuff during the holidays. And I have quite a bit of extra leftover um, block chocolate. So I'm gonna make chocolate covered strawberries. Doesn't that sound decadent? Following that, we've got, looks like the peach turnovers for my guy to have a nice breakfast on the weekends, right? 
And then after that, we got some circus cookies. Uh, kind of going with the girly pink uh, whatever <laughs> uh, that I love to put in his lunches. And unfortunately, I like to eat these too, so I have to be a little careful. <laughs> Speaking of girly things that I put in my guy's lunches, uh, one of my listeners, uh, Sharon May, was so kind as to look up the flavor of that unicorn pudding that I bought last month. And it was supposed to be like cotton candy flavor. Uh, and I asked my uh, fiance if he could tell and he said no <laughs> it just tasted like some sort of generic like he said it tasted like yogurt and I don't know exactly what that means other than he couldn't tell it was cotton candy <laughs> uh, moving right along though I got some mesh bags for produce another thing to hopefully reduce my plastic waste, right? Uh, if I can remember them, which is always the challenge, right? And then this little guy that's rattling around is some individual packs of itty bitty minis pretzels. <laughs> Following that, uh, Winko finally had some uh, value packs of seaweed. Uh, in the store again, so I was a little excessive and I bought two packs. I really enjoy seaweed snacks. They're low calorie, they have some fiber and protein. Uh, the only downside is that they always come with so much packaging. Uh, each of these little bags also has a little tray inside, so part of me feels kind of guilty for enjoying it, but I guess I'm allowed to be wasteful once in a while, right? Next up, I've got some mashed potatoes, just a little uh, side item, and then a couple of different seasonings. So there is zesty herb. I got two of the tomato garlic basil, and then a peppercorn steak one so I'm not sure if I'll put it on the steak sandwiches I usually just kind of salt and pepper it uh, with what I have available but who knows maybe I'll maybe I'll marinate it or save this for something else <laughs> kicking around in the bottom of my big old bag here which is my normally my cooler bag right uh, but because of all the, the filming delays, I have my uh, um, groceries kind of, my cold stuff stashed in the refrigerator, <laughs> waiting to be filmed. Uh, but anyways, bell pepper. Uh, one of these is for the steak sandwiches. And the other ones I've been, um, for breakfast, I usually cook up a little bit of bacon and I found that it's really tasty if I um, dice up some bell pepper and kind of fry it in the bacon fat. And then I usually add, there we are, it is available, a little bit of this garlic parmesan and it's super tasty. You know, obviously it's very savory for a breakfast item, uh, but you know, when you diet, <laughs> I think you get used to not having pancakes for breakfast. Uh, anyways, I don't think I mentioned it, but this bag that I'm swinging around is a giant old bag of onions. Uh, one of those will also be sauteed and put on the steak sandwiches. And that finishes off my big old not a cooler bag. <laughs> Off to the side here, I have a few cards. I have kind of a generic uh, birthday card for my grandfather, who uh, probably thinks that I don't like him anymore. <laughs> we were supposed to meet up uh, 
last month uh, to kind of celebrate Christmas after Christmas because I was really busy. And then I kept being really busy. So we haven't celebrated Christmas after Christmas. I'm kind of a bad granddaughter. Um, anyways, this other card, I wasn't going to get a Valentine's Day card. Um, but the they had them at the cash register, right? And the person ahead of me had like, I don't know, it was well over like $500. Uh, worth of stuff so it took a while um, and I was reading them and I just the artworks kind of bleh but the message was nice uh, it says I'm happy we happened in the beginning right and then it says we met we fell in love we stayed in love it's a simple story but it's my favorite happy Valentine's Day and I I don't know it kind of tugged on the heartstring a little bit because it was just so true. Um, meeting him was kind of a, a happy accident. Accident isn't quite the right word because I was trying to date. Uh, but before him, I didn't think I actually liked people or dating or anything. Um, so he's the, only the second guy I ever went out on a date with. <laughs> and here we are still together and gonna get married this year so it's pretty exciting I don't know what else to say <laughs> and then we've got some big items so there's some Kleenex hiding over there and then some Granny Smith apples off in the corner and with that we can start this big old bag that I got from Michael's and the first item in there is some chocolate peanut butter wafers. Um, I confess that I'm a sucker for wafer cookies. I bought a lot of Temptations this month. Uh, so 200 calories, so a little high on the calories, right? But out of those 200 calories, uh, it's 18 grams of carbohydrate. So not too, too bad for a sweet item, honestly. Um, and three grams of that is fiber. So I might be able to get away with eating one or two of these, but hopefully most of them end up in his lunch. <laughs> and speaking of things that are tasty and kind of medium, as far as being bad for diet goes, oh. That makes me sad. Okay, so first I'll just reveal the item. It is a big old can of nuts and uh, sesame sticks. I get this fairly often. And you saw me kind of go, aw, because the lid is broken. Um, the, the contents are fine, but I've been saving these canisters. Uh, my plan is, is on our wedding day, we're gonna probably have the main meal catered, right? But to save a little bit of money, we're thinking about having our own salad bar that we just buy, you know, get bulk items at Sam's Club. Um, and to store it all, I was gonna throw, I was gonna kind of decorate a whole bunch of canisters um, and kind of, you know, since they have the lids and everything, we could take them up there like that and because they're already a disposable item, um, it wouldn't feel as bad to throw them away at the end of the day since they got a second life, right? So I've been trying to save the cans, but this one will not be savable, unfortunately. Next up, speaking of savable cans, We have a big old box here, right? The Fun Mix box from Sam's Club. Uh, and one of the items in the Fun Mix is these little tiny Pringles cans. Um, and I've been, <laughs> my poor guy, he has to save everything because I'm trying to, you know, upcycle, recycle, be good on the environment. Um, but I've been having him save these little cans and um, 
what I do is I decoupage over the, the label, uh, kind of the same thing that I'll do for the uh, wedding cans, right, but a different design. Um, and then they become mystery cans where I can put some of my old product um, at the shows and I sell it kind of um, at a discount and get rid of some things that, you know, are from an earlier stage in my artistic career, right? <laughs> um, so anyways, I mostly bought this big old box so that I could have these cans. But all this stuff is good lunch stuff, so uh, it's a win-win. <laughs> Next up, we got a very heavy box of Minute Rice. Uh, just an easy carbohydrate that I can uh, cook real quick to add to the guy's dinner, right? And then we've got some sausages. Um, these are a fairly good um, diet food, at least for the particular diet that I'm doing. Uh, less than one gram of carbohydrate. So I enjoy them. They're a little pricey, right? Uh, but it's nice that they don't have to be refrigerated, um, kind of like a Slim Jim, but, you know, slightly better quality of meat, right? Um, so they're a convenient thing to take to work, because if I'm really feeling hungry, um, I'll just sneak one of these in the, in the corner, <laughs> uh, rather than give in to the temptation to, uh, you know, snack on a piece of cake or something. So, speaking of work, I kind of uh, dropped a hint earlier that I had some big news, right? And uh, this is as good of a segue as I'm going to get, probably. <laughs> um, as I told you, uh, it was a very busy week last week. Um, and then I had a show, an arts and crafts show, immediately after it. And I wasn't super worried about making more stuff. Um, I had a fair amount of stock, um, and last year this show, it was profitable, but it wasn't like, you know, shoot the moon, you know, I'm quitting my day job. Well, this year was a different story. I sold probably about 80% of my felted products, which is kind of like my main draw. I also have prints and a few little other things uh, floating around, but the felted creatures are the big thing. And I sold many, many, many of them. Uh, probably made three times more than what I did last year. Maybe even slightly more than three times. Um, so I am kind of out of stock, right? Well, I also found out last week that I made it into, drum roll, <laughs> the Washington State Fair. Uh, I haven't been personally, but it's a giant fair. Uh, they do two uh, in a year, and I'm doing the smaller one. Uh, but that's still supposed to have an audience of about 100,000 people. Um, so I'm all sold out, right, of my product, and the fair is in April, and I was thinking about how, you know, I was going to try to do my art full-time anyways. Um, I didn't think I would, I thought I would hold out until like May or June, but I ended up putting in my notice. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be a full-time artist, uh, in three weeks, and, uh, I am nervous and scared and excited and happy and everything, um, so it was really good news, <laughs> um, wish me luck, right? Anyways. Uh, you're here for groceries, not me gushing over my new opportunities. 
Uh, so here is a very sexy five pack of toothpaste <laughs> to uh, kind of ease us back into the shopping trip. Um, I probably spent, well I know I spent, not probably, over $300 um, on this shopping trip. It was big, but uh, work has just been busy and I keep doing like weird schedules and we're basically just out of everything at this point uh so next up got some sesame crackers and then some little fun stuff for the lunches winco usually has some um little individually packed snacks in their bin section so i don't have to commit to buying a full box uh, which is probably good because these uh, Knott's Berry Farm cookies uh, would be another big temptation for me. But there's only four packages of those, so hopefully all four will make it into uh, the lunches, right? <laughs> and then the bin section also had some interesting uh, chocolates. So this one's a dark chocolate Barrel-aged bourbon caramels. Doesn't that sound fancy? And there's another variety here. Let's see if I can fish it out. Uh, and this one is milk chocolate cherries. So, doesn't look like they're real cherries because they're way too, like, squashed. <laughs> Uh, but I still, I like chocolate and cherry, and I've never tried this brand before. Marich, I would think it's pronounced. Pan-crafted chocolates. Uh, so just, you know, again, adding variety. Uh, I make his lunch pretty much every day. Uh, so I want to make sure that it's still interesting and that he doesn't get bored of it. Right. Moving right along. We have some lemons. Um, I went ahead and I bought the big chunky lemons because uh, the ones that I had last last month, I was going to say last week, um, I just bought like little baby ones. And I've been, I had them and they were going to go bad. Um, so I started putting them in my water because, you know, why not? And I really like lemon water. I mean, I guess I've never felt like adverse to it, you know, I on some level knew I liked lemon water, but I'm really enjoying it and uh, it's cheaper to buy a couple of big old lemons and make some lemon water than it is to buy all that uh, seltzer water that I was going through like no other. <laughs> um, so yeah, look at me being all fancy. Uh, and then this thing that I keep flinging around is a nice big old jar of peanut butter. And then we've got a jar of pickles, which is my fun diet approved snack. And I had been buying like a smaller version of this uh, for probably like the past two months. And I've eaten them all <laughs> uh, before I managed to go shopping again. So. Hopefully the big jar will last me a little bit longer. Next up, we have some uh, little mandarin oranges, which are in a surprisingly crunchy uh, packaging. That plastic kind of has a very sharp noise. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and then let's see here. Another package of the caramels. There should be one more package of the cherries, chocolate, maybe not. Um, well, I'm sure it's somewhere. <laughs> uh, and then next up, we've got some olives and some white beans. And then we have two cans of chicken noodle soup. And now we're finally on to 
the cold stuff, which has been hiding out in the refrigerator. Um, it has taken me so far two hours to record this much of the video. Um, it is a longer than normal video, but not by two hours. <laughs> um, gotta love living in an apartment, right? Um, but anyways, the first item is a big old uh, bottle of beer. This is Rogue Chocolate Stout. Um, my guy's favorite beer is actually from the same company. It's called Dead Guy Ale. Um, but the store was out of them. And I really wanted him to have something um, alcoholic to drink when we do our um, Valentine's Day here at the apartment. Uh, so he does like chocolate stouts typically. Hopefully this one is a good one. Next up, the uh, classic bag of jalapenos and some ground beef. Uh, you won't see the chicken that I bought. Uh, I got one of the Sam's Club big old packs, right? Um, and I ended up just dividing it up and throwing it in the freezer already. Um, while I was waiting to film. <laughs> but I did buy some chicken, you know, for who cares. Uh, we got some laughing cow cheese and some string cheese and some provolone cheese. <laughs> and I think that's all the cheese. Uh, you may recall last month I got that big bag of um, pepper jack cubes. Um, and I think we're finally tired of them. <laughs> I sent the last of them off in uh, my guy's lunches, lunch, uh, well, today's lunch, so last night I made it. And I just, I threw the whole rest of them back uh, in there. I was like, just eat this, please. Um, but anyways, so got some cheeses. And then these are the steaks for our steak sandwiches. I kind of can't wait. I know it's not until uh, Friday, but uh, I love me some steak. <laughs> Next up, we have the half and half, because I'm an avid coffee drinker, right? And then we have the uh, salsa. So last month I bought the um, cheddar cheese soup base and I was telling you about how I make like a con queso chicken and broccoli dinner thing. I never did get around to buying salsa and using it up, but luckily canned soup lasts, you know, pretty long. Uh, so I just made up for it by uh, buying the salsa this time. Next up, we have some kibasa. And then, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> see if I can get this out of here. I went ahead and just bought <laughs> uh, five whole pounds of bacon. It's about a dollar off if you buy it in the package. And I've been just going through so much bacon lately um, that I decided to bite the bullet and buy <laughs> almost $25 worth of pork. <laughs> Hopefully this lasts a while, fingers crossed, probably not. Um, but it at least will cut down on my in-between shopping trips because that is something that I'll buy kind of in-between videos. Um, one of the things I've been doing, um, cause I, I'll fry up some bacon, um, on the weekends for breakfast, right? And you know, I'll saute the vegetables and the fat, um, but you don't need all of the fat, right? So I've taken to, um, saving it 
which I guess is, you know, kind of a thing that a lot of people do. Um, in my household growing up, uh, that was kind of considered like dirty or something. Like, why would you want to reuse used grease? Um, but I've been saving it and using it in other places, uh, mostly where I would use butter. I've replaced it with bacon fat. And two things um, kind of surprised me. Uh, one is that, you know, it smells like bacon. It, it smells like bacon after you filter it and strain it and put it in the fridge. It still smells like bacon. <laughs> uh, but flavor-wise, it's close to neutral. Um, it's, it's, you know, kind of slightly more savory than like an olive oil or a canola oil would be. But other than that, it's fairly neutral. So it works in a lot of things. So what I've discovered, my second discovery, is that um, my, my butter costs have gone way down. Um, I probably no was going through like almost a whole box of butter in a month. Um, and ever since I switched out to using the leftover bacon fat, that's been cut down to like maybe one little bar, um, you know, in a month. So it's actually saving me money to reuse that fat. Plus, you know, one less thing to go in the garbage can or down the drain, right? On to my second bag from the refrigerator here. Uh, hopefully I can go through this one a little faster since I'm starting to lose daylight. Um, the first item is big old bag of broccoli, which we easily, easily go through uh, way before the end of the month. And then big old bag of carrots. Those tend to last a little bit longer, but not by too much. And then we have big old box of individual guacamoles. They were kind of a lifesaver when I was making my own lunches. Uh, I think I bought a pack two months ago and I stuck half of it in the freezer. So I could kind of just slowly enjoy them. Um, and you know, they're full of good fat and fiber and stuff. So can't go wrong there. And then last but not least for this bag, is a package of individual hummus. Um, I don't know if my guy is getting tired of it or not. It's kind of one of those diet foods that I'm kind of like, I really enjoyed it in the beginning and now it's just kind of like, yeah, I could eat that. Uh, but this whole box is like $4 at Sam's Club. Um, that's a lot of hummus uh, for $4. So not only is it pretty, you know, it's fairly nutritious. It's, a, it's got a little bit of, you know, sodium and stuff in it, but um, it's, it's, you know, cost effective. So we're going to keep eating it. <laughs> and now we are finally down to our last bag. This guy was stashed away in the freezer. Um, and that just is proof on how empty everything was, that I could just fit this bag as is. I mean, I kind of tilted it. Uh, but I could fit that whole bag just as a bag in my freezer. Those are some bare bones. <laughs> um, so first up, some riced veggies. And some more veggies. Hint. <laughs> Spoiler alert, rather. There's going to be a lot of vegetables. Uh, but before I get to the rest of them, go ahead and get out our two boxes of garlic knots. You know, another quick carbohydrate that I can add to uh, my guy's meal without um, getting too, too tempted to eat it myself. Right? <laughs> Uh, that is always the yeah, dilemma, right? If I buy things for him, I have to try not to eat them myself. 
I'm usually pretty good though. Um, I've, I've been, I've been pretty successful. I'd like to think. Uh, it's been 40 pounds, 42 ish so far. Um, but anyways, vegetables. We have broccoli stir fry mix. And there should be two bags of that. Yep. They um they didn't have the selection that they normally have. So I may actually go on another shopping trip. <laughs> Goodness forbid. But just a little tiny one. It wouldn't be worth videotaping. Um, just to get some more frozen vegetables because they're kind of a staple. You know, I always kind of, you know, marinate or fry or oven roast some chicken and then I make the vegetables, right? Um, they had both of the kinds of like regular riced um, cauliflower. This is the risotto blend. And the other one that I pulled out is the stir fry blend. Um, but they didn't have the one that had sweet potato in it. And I had a package of that sweet potato cauliflower mix probably in my freezer for like three or four months. A long time. Um, I finally cooked it up, right? Because the freezer was empty. <laughs> and I, um, I cooked it with the bacon. Like I cut bacon real finely. Uh, fried it up, left the fat in the pan, added the cauliflower, um, sweet potato with garlic and lots of pepper. Um, and it was delicious. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I waited so very long to uh, finally cook up that package of veggies, right? Um, but I've been kind of like craving it almost, you know, because it was just, you know, these bags are kind of tiny, right? It's like two servings. Um, so I was really excited to get some more during my shopping trip. And of course, Winko didn't have it. Um, and they didn't have as many of these either, the like bigger bags of veggies. Um, I'm not sure why. It looks like they were moving things in the freezer section. So it might be that the stuff comes back once they finish their like reorganization, right? And with that, I am finally at the end of recording. Yay! Ah, it's, it's been a long day so far. <laughs> um, so I'm ready to get the kitchen put back together and uh, start working on some arts and crafts for my show, right? Um, if I have any Washington viewers, uh, I won't be there for ASMR, right? But uh, I will be in the I think they call it the Artisan's Market. Uh, so if you go down to the fair, I'll maybe see you. Other than that, uh, of course, there's always some shout outs. Uh, let's shout out to Life on Plants and Patricia Hawkins. Um, just two of many wonderful commenters. You know, I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, that'll be it for now. I have a bunch of little bobcat packages. Um, I finally stashed up more than enough, I think, to do a video. Um, so now it's just a matter of finding the time. So hopefully I'll get to that within a couple of weeks here. Um, I don't know, life's been crazy. Um, anyways, yes, I'm wrapping up. <laughs> Thank you for being here and listening. And I'll talk to you next time. Nighty night.